Hi everyone, welcome to Shell Sugar Rush and welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this delicious toasted coconut cake. So if you enjoy things like this or need a recipe for a good one, stick around and watch me put it together. So we're going to begin our cake batter with one and a half sticks of unsalted butter and I am going to just start creaming this together, creaming this butter in and adding some granulated sugar and this is one and a half cups of granulated sugar that I'm putting in here. And of course I will put the um, recipe for you in the description box. But you just want to cream your butter and sugar together really well um, just until it's nice and fluffy. Um, I did this for, you know, just about a minute or two, probably more on the side of two minutes. Um, I like to get mine really fluffy and structured, you know, before, um, before adding the additional ingredients. And now I'm going to give this bowl a good scrape down just to make sure everything is off the sides and bottom and everything's nicely incorporated. And I'm turning it on low here and adding five egg whites. And I'm going to let this mix for a good minute or two. You want to uh, let it mix long enough for those egg whites to start giving your cake batter some structure and, you know, just getting that fluffiness in there. This is going to make a big difference in the crumb of your cake. And now, of course, I'm going to scrape down that bowl again. And at this point, I'm going to add one half cup of sour cream. And this is at room temperature as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my extracts. And I'm using a butter vanilla here. And I'm going to do one teaspoon of the butter vanilla. And then one teaspoon also of coconut extract. And just give that a good mix. And here you see I have my dry ingredients. And in this bowl, I have two and a half cups of cake flour two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a dash of salt in there. Now also I have for the wet ingredient, I have one cup of coconut milk, um, just from the can. And you see here, I just alternated the two of those, beginning and ending with the dry ingredients, and just wanna make sure you've got everything nicely incorporated. And now it's time to pan this up. So I have here four six inch um, pans and they're already sprayed and lined with parchment. And I'm just gonna try to distribute this as evenly as possible. And you can do this in three eight inch layers as well. Just depends, but I'm actually making two smaller cakes uh, from this batter. So I've chose to do this. Now you're gonna put this in the oven on 325 degrees for about 30 minutes. And of course, this is what they should look like when they come out of the oven. And now we're gonna make our coconut icing. And for this, I'm starting with two sticks of room temperature butter. And this is unsalted butter, so I am gonna throw in a dash of salt here as well. Um, but I'm gonna cream this butter up a little bit. And then at, that, um, at this point, I'm gonna add an eight ounce block of cream cheese to that. But I do like to cream them, kinda of start the butter first. You know, I just want everything to be nice and smooth. You can put them in at the same time and do them both together. But here you see I've got that cream cheese going in and I'm just gonna give this a good mix for um, a good few minutes just to make sure it's nice and creamy and fluffy and we don't have any lumps of cream cheese in there. And at this point I am going to start adding my powdered sugar and I am gonna be using a two pound bag in this um, just because that's gonna give me about eight cups so, and that's what I want, I want a pretty big batch of this. So at this point, I'm gonna put the powdered sugar in. I'm also gonna put some of my butter vanilla extract, uh, about a teaspoon of that, as well as a teaspoon of the coconut extract. And you can see here, I'm using the remainder of my coconut milk, and I'll probably end up with about six to eight tablespoons of that. But, you know, I just kind of pour it in freehand. I really don't measure. And, you know, I just use the coconut milk to get it to the consistency that I want the buttercream, you know, which is a nice um, spreadable, fluffy consistency on, on that. So here I'm just going to let it whip up for a little bit. And I like to let mine whip up on a medium speed for a couple minutes and then turn it down to kind of a low speed and let it get that air out. And now our cakes are cooled and ready to be decorated. 
So here you can see I am just um, using two layers. Like I said, I do want to make two small cakes. One is actually staying home and one is going out. So here I'm uh, filling and icing those um, cake layers with that um, coconut buttercream that we just made. And it's so nice and creamy and smooth. Um, here I'm just going to give it a nice crumb coat and I'm really not going to worry about um, a final coat just because we're going to be putting the coconut around it. And um, I did, did forget to mention when I did the cake batter, I did add a cup of coconut, um, the coconut flakes at the end there. And you can do that. Not everybody does that. It's personal preference. but. Um, you can add that one cup in your cake batter if you like to have those coconut flakes through the cake. Um, you know, otherwise it's not necessary. But um, here you can see I'm giving it a nice smooth coat here on that second one and just getting these ready for the coconut. And it is pretty soft, so I'm gonna chill it for just a moment before I put those flakes. But you can see here, I have a bowl of coconut flakes and I have um, a mixture of some toasted, because I already had some that were toasted. So I just added some more of the, you know, regular sweetened flakes in with that, just to make sure I had enough to cover both cakes. And I'm just scooping that up and doing the sides and then I will put it on top as well. Um, and this, this cake is absolutely delicious, you guys. So if you have never tried a coconut cake, um, I definitely recommend trying this. I have um, never been a fan of coconut flakes, but this cake is just so delicious that I am able to overlook that fact. Um, it was just, the, the flavor is amazing. So, and this is um, probably the best recipe I've, you know, ever found for coconut cake. And I get a lot of compliments on this. So if you haven't tried one of these, definitely make sure you try it. So here are our finished cakes. Absolutely beautiful with that toasted coconut look to it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be notified when I upload more cakes in the future. And don't forget to let me know if you try this at home. And of course, here's a look at the beautiful inside of this cake for you. Thank you all so much for your support and I will see you next time.